Oh, sh and I am literally almost dead. Wow. Okay, so this guy is gonna take us where we need to go, apparently. Bosh. I'm just baffled. What was that? I didn't fire a single shot, but I blew myself and those guys up. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Willie B. Coyote, and welcome back to Max Payne. Uh, full disclosure, I don't really remember what we did that much in the last video, so I'm not gonna summarize it for you. But anyways, uh, I was gone last week, obviously, because, uh, well, to be honest, I have moved to a new place, and, uh, I'm really happy and looking about it and looking for- uh, I can't talk today. TLDR, I've moved, and I'm really happy about it. I'm looking forward to the future. It's now, never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. Anyways, um, now I've got to figure out how to get inside of, uh, that locked door there. Hang on, uh, my brightness is a little down. So, um, I'm probably gonna have to, uh, look up how to get through that, but, uh, uh, let's look around here first and see what we can find. Whoa! Incoming! Boosh! And I am literally almost dead. Wow. Thanks, Captain Obvious. That's not fun. Um... Gotta be careful here. Quick save here. Boosh! Gotta love bullet time. Quick save again. Um, do I jump up here? No. Let's try. Nope. I swear, if I end up having to pause multiple times... Ah, screw it, I'm probably gonna have to. I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. Okay, I'm back and I think I might have gotten it now. No, Here we are. Don't shoot! I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this guy is gonna take us where we need to go, apparently. Gonna keep the shotgun drawn because that weapon's uh, done me good so far. Back the way we came. Here, get it open for us, will ya? It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Woo. Come on. Okay, John Woo. All right. <laughs> John Woo. Oh man. It's a trap. It's hey. pain. John who? John Wu, that's the name. Uh, for those who don't know, John Wu is the guy who directed such movies as Hard Boiled, which, uh, of course was a huge, huge influence for Max Payne when Remedy was, uh, developing it. Not just Max Payne, but also the Fear Games as well, were, uh, one of their biggest influences was John Wu's movies and how they handled those. Okay, going up in the elevator now? And there's even cheesy elevator music. That's great. The BBC would like to announce that the next scene is not considered suitable for family viewing. It contains scenes of violence involving people's heads and arms getting chopped off, their ears nailed to trees, and their toenails pulled out in slow motion. There are also scenes of naked women with floppy breasts. And also, at one point, you can see a pair of buttocks. And there's another bit where I swear you can see everything. But my friend says it's just the way he's holding the spear. <laughs> because of the unsuitability of the scene, the BBC will be replacing it with a scene from a repeat of Gardening Club for 1958. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And here we are. Let's quick save here. Ah, 
Oh, here we are. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte. Hey, that's us! ...from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. Mm. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. All right. What the? Bosh. Okay. Is there a... And voila, here we are. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, well, no time like the present. Boosh! Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, come on. Well, shit. Once again, me dying a lot is going to be a very recurring theme all throughout this Let's Play. I don't want to go there. Boosh. Boom. Okay. Let's check around, see if there's anything we can find. Switch to dual Berettas for a minute. Quick save. Ah, oh, for a second there, I thought I was gonna have to like cross up tight over there. Uh, all right, this way. What the hell was that? Oh, not going that way. Ah, uh, what the heck? I'm just baffled. What was that? I didn't fire a single shot, but I blew myself and those guys up. Like, how? How? Ow. Red, blue, green. Okay. Red or blue in the movie. Boosh. Alright, there we go. That's that taken care of. Um. I bet this one maybe. Whoa. Oh. Now it goes. Oh. Gotta love bullet time. That really saved me there. Alright. Quick save. Oh. Up this way, through here. Bullet time, take this guy out. Ah. All right. Not that way, so I'm going up this way from the looks of it. Sounds like somebody important is back there. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Oh, it's yeah, time! I knew from day one there was 
something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god, you shot me. Ah. You're dead, Pete. Like, what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him. Kill him. Hey, we Listen, just shot him. Got me bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. I made like Chow Young fat. We gotta get after Gogniti. Gotta love bullet time. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Let her lay on Gogniti's desk. Let's take a look. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gogniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. All right, so uh, I think that's good enough as far as any to end today's video. Uh, I'm looking forward to the future, and um, you can hopefully expect to see more videos coming down the pipeline. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I've been Willie B. Coyote. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!